Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes. Today we're going to discuss how PCOS is related to autoimmune thyroid, specifically Hashimoto's. Now a lot of you may have noticed that thyroid issues, especially autoimmune thyroid, seems to run more with females than with males. So what the research is showing is that there's actually a large hormonal component, especially in terms of progesterone. Now today we're going to talk about how higher levels of estrogen and testosterone, which will then cause shifts in progesterone progesterone can actually lead to Hashimoto's disease or autoimmune thyroid. So let's talk about one of the most one of the most prominent causes of infertility and irregular menses in women, and that's PCOS, or polycystic ovarian syndrome. So some of the signs and symptoms of PCOS include cysts on our ovaries, inability to lose weight, we start to see facial growth hair or male pattern baldness in women, and, dis and of course, dysregulated hormones. One of the biggest red flags for a doctor when they're looking at someone's blood work, when we see all of those symptoms and insulin resistance resistance, that's a huge indicator of PCOS. Insulin resistance and PCOS seem to go hand in hand. Insulin resistance is blood sugar issues. Now, if any of my patients are watching this, that's one thing that I hammer in and I work on no matter what my patient is coming in for, we work on blood sugar levels because blood sugar is going to affect every aspect of your health from your hormones all the way down to your immune system. So let's talk about insulin resistance. So in, in our cells, we prefer to use glucose as our fuel source, but that glucose out in the blood has to get into the cell in order to be used. That door that opens up our cells so glucose can get in is insulin. So if we have insulin resistance, it means that hormone's not working the way that it's supposed to and glucose can't get into the cell. All right, so there's a background on insulin resistance. When a woman has insulin resistance, what we're gonna see is a, a high fasting glucose, which will then lead to high triglycerides and high cholesterol. Insulin resistance will also promote an increase in an enzyme and that enzyme's activity, that enzyme is called 1720 lyase. In our ovaries, when we have an abundance of this enzyme, we're gonna have a huge increase in estrogen and a huge increase in testosterone. Now that large amount of testosterone is really gonna throw off of our hormones. This testosterone is what gives PCOS, this gives women with PCOS their symptoms. High testosterone also further promotes insulin resistance by making the receptor sites for insulin less responsive. Now that's really important. So this testosterone is due to insulin resistance. Now testosterone is increasing and causing further insulin resistance. We have this vicious cycle going on. In the research, elevated insulin and testosterone is shown to be a promoting factor for autoimmune thyroid, specifically because of what it does to our immune system and what it does to progesterone. So insulin in particular will actually increase something called Th1 cytokines, which are inflammatory cytokines. Inflammation is the immune system doing its job. But when we have the inflammation in the immune system, acting a little oddly and we have increase in insulin which is causing that immune system to act the, not a way that it should be we start seeing errors and we can start seeing autoimmune processes begin so in the research insulin and testosterone can promote autoimmune thyroid so what are some things that we can do to help this number one is to work on blood sugar we got to make sure that we're eating the right foods at the right time now that means things like looking at protein, looking at vegetables, and looking at fruit. We wanna start getting away from some of these simple carbohydrates. So for example, it's really common for me to hear that a woman loves to have oatmeal for breakfast. Now that oatmeal, has got to be paired with some sort of fat or protein so it doesn't start you off with blood sugar issues. Now that's a whole another video for a whole other time. I want to dedicate a little bit of a blood sugar series in the future to help people get their blood sugar under control because of how unbelievably important it is. But for now, make sure blood sugar is under control and of course get really good sleep because all of that is going to affect PCOS.
So that's a little short video on how our hormones can actually affect our um, autoimmune processes, specifically for our thyroid. If you found this video interesting, please check out some of our other videos. You can find them on YouTube as well as Facebook. And we've got great detailed blog information, or uh, this kind of information in a lot more detail on our blog and our website, iBrainandBody.com. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this video.